Hey, what's up guys? This is Vidalabs, and in this video I'll be showing you how to download Xcode 8. Xcode 8 was just released today after Apple's WWDC 2016 event. That just happened a few hours ago. But anyways, so Xcode 8 introduces Swift 3. So some minor differences. I haven't tried Xcode 8 yet, so we're going to be downloading that today. So yeah, should be similar to the default version of Xcode, which is currently Xcode uh, 7 point something, not sure. So head to developer.apple.com forward slash Xcode, that will take you to this page. And here we have Mac OS Sierra with Siri. But anyways, it is developer.apple.com forward slash Xcode. So once we reach the page, you can read around and all that. Now, Swift was introduced in iOS 10 on the iPad, a little Swift Playgrounds app. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to follow along with that, uh, but I haven't tried it, so who knows. So beta now available, we're going to press download. Just sign in with an app ID you have. And yeah. Anyway, sign in. Now, you'll be taken to this page where you can download Xcode 8 beta, which we want, and the current release version, which is Xcode 7.3.1. As of now, so this is based on iOS 10, Mac OS 10.12. Watch OS 3 and TV OS 10. So let's press download. Is going to download. It is a pretty big file. Six gigs. Wow. So I will be back when it downloads. All right. So the Xcode 8 has downloaded, uh, but I did run into an issue, which I, I have fixed. Now you do need OS X version 10.11.4 or higher to run Xcode 8. I believe it is 10.11.4, but yeah, you need something at least 10.11.4 uh, or higher. So now, if you were on the unsupported version, you'd see a little circle with the slash through the middle saying that you can't run it. Now let's click on the Xcode beta. It's going to jump and start up for the first time. Don't think you need to verify it, or you do. So, verifying may take some time, but because it is not downloaded from the App Store, it will need to verify it. And also to mention, the same process applies to all other Xcode beta versions, just not the actual Xcode version, the current release. Because we downloaded that off the App Store and it does not need any special install or something. So it's about done verifying, it does take some time, so I just went away for a second, came back, so should be almost done. Alright, so it is finished verifying, it's stuck on that, should be stuck, but should be finishing soon, hopefully. Alright, so that finished verifying, and now it says Xcode Beta is an application from downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes. So we'll click open. It's going to load. It's only saying this message because it's not downloaded off the App Store, but I think Apple should put it on the App Store, so I mean it makes it just a little bit easier to download the beta versions. Alright, so looks like something is happening. Something should be loading. Okay, it's now starting to load something else now. Should be the setup finally. Okay, now we have to agree. 
type in your password. So now it's going to install the components. Shouldn't take uh, too long as it's going pretty quick. So that's pretty neat. So now it's installing the actual Xcode beta. This is not going to, from past installs, this does not like replace the current version of Xcode you have. So this should not replace the Xcode 7.3 point whatever it is. So everything should stay. And when you need to uninstall the beta and the final release is there, you can just uninstall it and nothing will and just uninstall the Xcode. So I will skip uh, to the finish. Alright, so about done with the installing components part. Alright. So now it's going to uh, launch the Xcode beta, and uh, it should, I believe it will take us to the home screen. I haven't done a beta, I haven't downloaded a beta in quite some time, so, yeah, so, alright, all our apps are here from the Xcode 7, but, uh, so if we go to Launchpad, we have both Xcode and wherever the beta is. Okay, and anyways, if we go to applications, utilities, applications, just applications, so beta should be somewhere here. Anyways, should be showing up. I'm not sure where it is, but oh well. Well, I mean, you can search with it through a spotlight search. That works. Should be showing up soon. I'm not sure why it's not showing up here. But all right. Now, if we go to Xcode, uh, Open Developer Tool Simulator, it's going to open uh, the iPhone SE. So we're going to select the iPhone 6s Plus. So complete separate simulator, so we have the original one here with this one, and the beta simulator. So it may take some time to load. Alright, the simulator has booted up, and we are now in the iOS 10 world. Here we got the iCloud Drive app. Um, there is no game center here, which I just noticed. But, uh, yeah. So, still working, still buggy, but this is the first build of the iOS 10. So anyways, so let's uh, lock. So if we press home, there's a still slide to unlock, so that is a weird little bug. That is a oh weird bug. This will show slide to unlock. Shouldn't be showing that, but mm, not sure why that 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 is. Did I always tell you press the home button to unlock? Oh, um, okay. okay. Let's try a uh, 3D touch. Yeah, we want to use trackpad force. Oh, 
on it, so. So for some reason the settings app is not getting a 3D touch. So um, the simulator is a little glitched out, I have to say. Uh, Facebook, what happened? Mm, glitch, a little glitched out simulator. The lock screen is not supposed to be that kind of lock screen. And so new addition is the messages app, it seems like. So that's a nice little addition because of the um, messages store. So we got the uh, draw thing. So that is pretty cool. It's like different colors. Alright, so that's pretty cool. So it shows up here. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, so Xcode 8 does come with Swift 3. So let's just delete all of these. But anyway, so basically if you send a user to from message 1, it's going to um, message user 1. It's going to go to uh, the user 2 that we just went into. So we have the App Store, but anyways, yeah, so, that we don't want to search, but we got Wallet, We got Apple Pay and all that. So yeah, quick overview of the uh, simulator and uh, how to install Xcode 8 beta. Now this does work with any beta version of Xcode, but this is currently the releases version 8. So thanks for watching. I do subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.